today we're going to see how we can dynamically change expressions uh, or our KPIs in the whole uh, sheet in the whole dashboard rather than going uh, alternately going step one by one so let's get started uh, I'm gonna create a bar chart in here to start with and I'm going to add let's just start adding category and then I'm gonna add a my year I have created some years already so I'm gonna go with the sales amount okay so I have this very sales dashboard what if what we want is that that let's say we have another dash uh, uh, chart let's say it's a line chart and this line chart to have again let's say sales amount and by this time around we have uh, let's say we have month and year year month here we go so okay so we have this chart so this is good but what if we want that dynamically you know at in single uh, go we can change the kpi uh, what we can do is we can add margin in here and alternate kpi and also i can add margin here in alternate kpi i can change it to margin but it just changes only for this one it doesn't changes for this side i have to change them manually one by one how we can do that by single click we change uh, the kpi in the both these charts so let's get started to do that as uh, uh, I'm going to add a button in here to do that. I'm going to use the button to do that. And also we need to create a variable called, I'm calling it a VX EXP, what you, we can call it anything else. Okay, so uh, and this one I'm going to add action. And this action is going to be change set a variable value. And the variable that I just mentioned is exp in my case and I'm going to call it one okay and then I'm going to label that as sales amount which is my first variable uh, first expression okay so just remember I'm setting the value to one for sales amount and then I'm going to create another button it will be two for the margin okay and now I come in here and what I'm going to do is and my my here so I'm gonna delete this one and I'm also gonna delete this one and I'm going to add a my year based on a formula and I'm going to use a pick function so pick function what it does is we tell it that which expression to pick so with the variable if you remember I valued it one or two so what it it tells us which expression to pick and the expressions are sales amount sales amount and the second expression i'm going to use is margin so now just imagine that you can have unlimited number of expressions that are connected here and i'm just going for two but you can have more and you can have more buttons on top so as many expressions as many buttons so that's it I go in here and uh, I have this expression and I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna come in here and let's delete that here I'm just gonna paste that here I'm just gonna delete that here okay so at the moment so if I pick the pick that up it's in the sales amount now let's create another button I'm just copying that button and you can make it more attractive for sure so I'm calling it margin and in actions instead of one I'm calling it now two. so it's setting the value so if I say margin change if I say sales number change but you see the expression uh, title is not changing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in data and 
in the label expression so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy that and in label expression what i'm going to do i'm going to say that it's a so i'm you know just hard coding the values okay so i'm going to copy that for the other chart as well let's just copy that for the chart okay here we go and here you go margin switch to margin switch to sales amount just one click and you can have as many as charts as many as expressions so you can on the runtime the whole analysis will change for that particular expression that's it for today thank you